In this video, I'll go over how to buy a domain name on Hover. So let's first talk about buying a domain name. The first part of buying a domain name involves using a company that's called a domain registrar. A domain registrar is a company that you purchase your domain name from, but actually you don't really purchase it, you lease it for a one year or multiple year, one year or multiple year increments. Um, but when you stop paying, you lose uh, access to that domain name and it becomes uh, available for then anyone to do. So a domain registrar is a company you use to purchase a domain name. One aspect of this that's um, important as part of that being a domain registrar is they actually publish information about the domain name in a public record called a Whois record. Um, so it sh it lists information like when the domain was purchased and public information or information about the owner, which is then made in a to a public database. The domain registrar I'm recommending is a company called Hover. Uh, one thing I like about Hover is it just focuses on selling domain names. Unlike some other uh, domain registrars, it doesn't act, uh, do a lot of upselling for things like web hosting or other um, internet-based services. Um, it does include privacy, which I'll explain later. And the privacy is what doesn't allow that your personal information is available in that public who is database. And Hover makes it very easy to renew your domain name. So for the demonstration, I'll go through um, using Hover how to search for a domain name, then how you can add it to your cart and pay for it. Uh, there'll be a uh, need to create an account on Hover for you to maintain and manage your domain name. And finally, I'll show you what a Whois record, so you have some uh, ideas of what that is. So to get started purchasing your domain name, first go to the domain registrar, hover.com. And the web page, its home page will come up and it starts with a place where you can search for your, the domain name. So what I would suggest to do first, type in your business name. So in this case, house service company and click search. So this goes through and in this case, the .com version is available. There's also a unique top level domain called .company that's actually available, it shows you the prices over there. And then it does go through some additional top level domains that uh, may be interesting like .net or .co or some other ones like that. But in this case, we are actually looking for the .com. So we'll just add it to the cart and then we'll get to the process to check out. So our domain registration is listed. It's just one year. You could actually add additional years at the beginning. Um, and unfortunately, it's not a um, discount for multiple years. So we'll just stick with the one year here. You can ignore the um, email options here. You do get free domain privacy in the Whois record, which we'll go over. And there is a small uh, fee to a different internet organization that you have to pay for. Anyway, so everything kind of looks good here. So we'll go ahead and begin the secure checkout process. And we'll need to enter uh, different information into our um, setup here. So first one, of course your name. And the email address, I'd actually recommend to use a common one that you use for all of them. If you've watched a previous uh, one of my videos, you'll know about creating a Google uh, account and a Gmail address. So that would be a great one to put in here. For the username, you can pick anything you want, but again, in this case, I'd probably say go ahead and go with the username of your business. And again, you'll need to create a complex password to type in here. Okay, with everything double checked, go ahead and hit click continue. And they have different terms of service, privacy policy, data sharing policy that you need to look at and agree to. Uh, you don't have to get email uh, newsletters from, but occasionally they do have offers, so it's not a bad idea. Okay, the next bit of information you need to put in there is your registration information. So again, we have our name. Go ahead and enter the address, count, uh, country, state, city, zip, email, phone number, all that information, and click continue. After you've entered all that information, the next one will be the billing information. So go ahead and enter your uh, billing information and choose how you want to pay via credit card or PayPal. After you've entered all your uh, billing information, including credit card, you'll get a cardholder agreement um, with 
uh, the fact that there will be automatic renewals, which is a good thing. You don't want to accidentally uh, let your domain name uh, expire. It's very simple to turn that off if you need to on your domain name if you're out of business or decided to change or something. So go ahead and click uh, agree to that and continue. And finally, get to the order confirmation, agree to the terms of service, and submit your order. Once everything is processed and your credit card has been charged, you'll get your completed order and you'll receive an email notification. Again, this to the email address you put in there to actually um, set something up. So Hover will send you a series of emails to the email that you set for your account. The first is just the welcome email, information about how to sign in your account, some different tips, things like that. The second email will be your order confirmation. And third email will be a um, verifying your uh, identity, which is just simply clicking a link, and then that'll uh, prove that your um, domain name is what you said it was. Okay, that verification link will just go to this uh, verification page, which shows the domain name that you purchased, your email that you signed up for it, and your name. And then just click verify information at the bottom. And you'll get the contact data has been verified. Okay, the way you check your account, just go ahead and go back to hover.com, choose the sign in button, go to the control panel. At this point, you'll type in your username and your password, and you'll sign in. And once you're signed in, since you've only purchased one domain name, you'll see it immediately moves into that. Some interesting things here you can see is the status. So we see it's active. We see the registration date, the renewal date, the renewal price, and a few different things here. Uh, privacy is automatically turned on. The ability to uh, transfer it to another domain name is not allowed. Hence, it's locked to stay here. And the auto renewal is turned on. Again, if you, for some reason, didn't want to pay for the domain again, you would turn that off. And that concludes uh, how to purchase a domain name through Hover. The final thing I want to show you is how to check your who is record. Um, the easiest way to do that is actually to go to godaddy.com. So we'll just type in godaddy, Google search, click on the website, go all the way down to the bottom and you'll find a who is here. And we'll just type in the name of the website we want to look at. So here's the domain name we just purchased. Shows the domain name, shows the date that it was uh, registered. Uh, two cows is actually uh, the parent company of Hover, so that's what's there. But as you scroll down here, you'll notice that there's no name, information, email, all the private stuff that we put in. Um, that is all hidden. So that's what the d domain privacy actually gives you, is the ability for this information not to be displayed. Hope that helps. Some conclusions. Um, again, a domain registrar is the company you use to purchase your domain name. A who is record is a public database of who owns domain names, which is why you might want to keep that information private. And the process to uh, go through purchasing a domain name through Hover, which involves searching for it, uh, selecting it, uh, putting your cart, paying for it, and then you'll be able to maintain your account.